Hello everyone, welcome to Cool Coding. Today in this lecture we will learn about similarities and differences between stack and queue. In the last video lecture we have studied about what is stack and queue. If you have not watched that video you can find the link of that video in the description box. So go through that also. Now learn about similarities and differences. So let's get started. Now similarities, there are two similarities between the stack and queue. First is linear data structure. Both the stack and queue are the linear data structure, which means that the elements are stored subsequently and accessed in the single run. It means that both stack and queue are linear data structure means that all the elements are stored in the sequence order means here all the uh, all the elements are stored in sequence order here sequence this element is se sequence wise and flexible in size second is flexible in size both the stack and queue are flexible in size it means that we can resize the stack and queue according to our requirement means we uh, they can grow and shrink according to requirement at the run runtime so this was all about the similarities or between stack and queue now let's go to differences so first difference is based on principle stack and queue so stack follows the principle of lifo means last in first out which implies that the element which is inserted last would be the first one to be deleted here here last in first out here last data element we have entered and now first that element which we have added in the last that will be out first so this is the principle of last in first out and q it follows the principle of f i f o first in first out which implies that the element which is added first would be first element to be removed uh, which is which is added first would be the first element to be removed from the list so in this case this is q so here when we will add this element from the other end the other element will remove so this is first in first out here first in and from here the first one is going to be out now in the lifo which for, uh, uh, which stack follows the principle lifo where data elements enter on the top of the el uh, element and it removes first but in case of queue the element which is added in the end it is big it becomes the uh, top top uh, we can say top or uh, at the end and from the first from the fr front end the other elements get removed first when we remove this so this was fifo and lifo now second difference is structure it has only uh, stack stack has only one end from which both the insertion and deletion takes place and that end is known as top end so here this is the stack here data elements entered from the top and it goes uh, it goes removed from on the top of the from the top so both the insertion and removal of the elements happens from one place or it uh, or from the top of the that uh, from that of um, top of the from the top and it uh, and this is the queue so it has two ends that is front end and rear end front end is used for deletion while rear end is used for insertion 
when we can understand this by example here this is front end and this is back end back end so insertion is takes place at the back end but the removal which is also known as dq and uh, insertion is also known as nq in, uh, in technical words so insertion takes place from the back end and removal takes place at the front end so this was the structure and both both removal and uh, insertion and removal happens from the two uh, two points one point is this and other point is this but in case of stack removal of the element uh, uh, insertion of the element and removal of the element both are the same position both are the same place so this was the difference about structure in stack and queue now the number of pointers used so stack contains only one pointer known as top pointer the top pointer holds the address of the last inserted or the topmost element of the stack so stack has only one pointer and this the and the top pointer holds the address of the last inserted or the topmost element of the stack but in case of queue it contains two pointers one is front pointer and other is rear pointer the front pointer holds the address of the first element whereas the rear pointer holds the address of the last element in the queue so this was the difference uh, according to their number of pointers used now the operation perform so in case of stack it performs two operations push and pop the push operations inserts the element in a list while the pop operations remove the element from the list and queue it performs mainly two operations nq and dq the nq operation performs insertion of elements and queue uh, in a queue while the dq operations perform the deletion of the elements from the queue so now let's understand this by example so here is example here push and pop in case of stack push and pop push means insertion of any elements insertion we can say only insertion and pop is the removal of the element in case of stack this is the name technical name we can say push or pop are the technical name of insertion and removal but in case of queue the technical name of, technical name of insertion and deletion are nq and dq uh, respectively means nq is the insertion name technical name uh, and dq is the technical name of removal so this was all about the perform uh, operations performed now the examination of the empty conditions so if the top is equal to minus was minus 1 which means that the stack is empty means uh, we can uh, here first we read about the queue also then we will uh, understand this by example so if front is equal to minus n minus 1 or front is equal to rear plus 1 which means that the queue is empty so this is the conditions we will later discuss about this condition in case of uh, in uh, we will use that condition in our program we will later discuss about that so let's go further now examination of condition of full statement full con full condition uh, examination we can understand now easily uh, so understand this if you understand as possible uh, we will also include this in our program so top when in case of stack when top is equal to maximum minus 1 so this all maximum minus 1 is uh, happen when we give index number to their element so uh, when we take an example uh, a stack having n elements so when we index this um, that elements so first will be zero index number and the last one will be maximum minus 1 so this is the top case but in case of q rear will be uh, rear will become maximum minus 1 this condition implies that stack uh, q is full 
now the difference on the basis of their variants so steak does not have any types but q has three types and here are the here are the two types of the q one is circular q one is double ended q so this was all about the differences between stack and q so this was all about difference between stack and q thanks for watching